Lori Lee, and I'm a freelance writer for the outdoor recreation industry. My latest guidebook is The Best Hikes Near Salt Lake City, and one of the hikes in that book is Lambs Canyon, and that's where we're at today. Lambs Canyon is a trail that is lesser known and lesser traveled than a lot of the main ones in Big Cottonwood and Little Cottonwood. And we're up here at 6,300 feet. We'll climb about 1,500, just over 1,500 feet up to the pass. Um, at Mill Creek Canyon that will take us over there. We won't go over the top, we'll go up, check out the view, and then come back down. There's a discrepancy on how long this trail is. The Forest Service manages this trail and they claim it's 1.75 miles, but on my GPS, it tracks at 2.1. So, take your pick. It's cooler, we're at the end of August, so it's a little bit cooler already. We have an overcast day, so I've already put on my jacket. Some hiking tips. Take a jacket with you, make sure you have enough water, and of course, make sure you have treats to fuel your body. Some of the other things that I've packed with me. Got the GPS. I've got the water that I need. I've got the jacket, and this breaks down and will just fit right inside the pack. Um, the beef jerky. <laughs> the sunscreen and bug spray in case you need it. The first mile of this trail actually goes right along a creek bed and because of that water you're also inclined to have more insects. So making sure that you carry insect repellent on this trail is an important thing. Um, I always carry some blister. Blister medics, um, in case you get blisters on your feet, when you feel those hot spots, you take care of them right away so that you don't have any problems and have to come back with sore feet. And then I always carry some of the essentials in this little bag where I've got a knife, a lighter, hand sanitizer, ibuprofen, um, duct tape, tissues, you know, some of those things. You know, you may even throw in a first aid kit. This is a, a bit of a remote trail. You won't see that many people on it, which is interesting here in Utah because especially along the Wasatch Front, there's a lot of hiking tra traffic. Very busy in Big Cottonwood, very busy in Little Cottonwood. Mill Creek is always really crowded, but here in Lambs Canyon, you can kind of break away a little bit, but you're still in an alpine rich area. So it's lovely. Let's go hike. things that I like best about this canyon is the tallness of the trees. The aspen are tall, the evergreens are tall, but not long ago it was actually used for its timber resources. It was in the mid-1800s. In fact, the first steam sawmill was put in by Charles Decker in 1864. We're about a mile into the trail now and we've been following the little stream and it comes from a spring up here. It only lasts for about a mile and then it and then it you're you're kind of on dry ground up to the top but it's warmed up a little on our way you can see that I've taken my rain jacket off and the the skies turn blue so the clouds have blown over and and now it's just nice and really perfect temperature it started out cool so it's a very pleasant hiking now one of the things about this canyon the reason that no dogs are allowed here is because it's a watershed as part of the Salt Lake watershed no domestic animals are allowed, so no dogs, no horses. This area, this water is used for the culinary needs of the Wasatch Front. So this little stream that we followed is off limits, no swimming or wading, um, no animals, but really beautiful and pleasant on the way up. And now we're just headed into the last mile up to the ridge. Okay. Canyon Trail as you're climbing up climbs up the north slope of this canyon and when you get up here almost at about two miles up it crosses over onto the south slope and this is where we start heading up to the saddle so this is the curve right here in the trail you curve up here and then you start the set of switchbacks that will take us to look over Mill, Can Mill Creek Canyon We've switched over to the south side of the canyon. We're coming up out of the trees a little bit and starting those switchbacks up to the top. And we're starting to get views now. We're not down in the trees. We're starting to come out where it opens up and you can see down Lambs Canyon. <laughs> the top, the old
overlook, and that is Mill Creek Canyon. Going down the trail another two miles and it will take you down into Mill Creek, but today we'll just be heading back to the car, back to the Lambs Canyon Trailhead. That's our hike for the day. We talked about it not being a very busy trail all day long. It took us three hours to complete it. We only saw three people, but we did see also a, a great big bull moose that was foraging around at the top there. It was beautiful. So it's been a nice hike. I'm glad that you came with us. If you want more information on hikes, you can check out The Best Hikes Near Salt Lake City by Falcon Guides, written by me, Lori Lee. You can get it at any of the major bookstores or you can get it on Amazon.com. You can also check out UtahHikingRetreats.com if you'd like to join us for a hiking retreat or stay tuned for the next hiking video and we'll take you out again.